Ever wondered if some of Apple's most iconic devices could use a design revamp? Also, I know Apple just released the Vision Pro, but could introducing a fresh product line to pair up with the MacBook be beneficial for both Apple and its avid users? We are diving into the realms of what if scenarios surrounding some of Apple's popular products, exploring stunning concepts and potential redesigns, from remodeling the magic mouse to pondering the possibility of a portable monitor sidekick for our MacBooks and discussing a magic keyboard makeover. We've got it all covered. So without further ado, let's delve into the world of future Apple innovations. Firstly, we are turning the tables and reminding something that Apple, a company renowned for its design language, got awfully wrong. Yes, we are talking about the magic mouse. A device that, for all Apple's design genius, seems to have been inspired more by a primitive torture device than anything related to user comfort. When it comes to seamlessly combining design and functionality, Apple often hits the nail on the head. But with the magic mouse, it's like they missed the mark entirely. Let's start by addressing the elephants in the room, the ergonomics of the magic mouse, or lack thereof. And let's not forget the bizarre decision to place the charging port on the bottom, effectively rendering the mouse useless when it's charging. But let's not dwell on the past. Instead, we're exploring an exciting concept, the Apple Mouse Pro. It's a magic mouse, but reimagined and drastically improved. I stumbled upon this exquisite design on the hands, courtesy of a remarkably talented Taiwanese designer. Vincent Lin. The design to me is nothing short of spectacular. It's like the magic mouse had it blow up, found its purpose, and turned into something truly magical. So, this concept Magic Mouse Pro is not just designed for the right-handed majority. It features a revolutionary reversible design, making it a perfect fit for everyone. But let's be honest, we all know Apple's love for minimal moving parts. They would rather have a unibody everything than one with moving parts. So, even if Apple would ever consider pursuing something even remotely close to this, I can assure you that there will be no rotating heads. But the concept does look really cool though. The Magic Mouse Pro concept introduces a tactic sidebar, tailored for personalized gestures. This would come in handy, particularly for horizontal scrolling, becoming indispensable once experienced. It's one of those features you might not realize you desire until you've used it, subsequently finding it hard to find yourself using a mouse without it. Apple, I sincerely suggest either acquiring this design from him or considering him for your team at the very least. And the cherry on top, you can use a mouse even while it's charging. That's right, no more switching to a trackpad or halting your work because your mouse ran out of juice. It's about time, Apple. Just look at the awkward angle at which the magic mouse needs to be positioned during charging. It needs to be contorted into such a weird angle for charging, turned on its side or flipped like a pancake. You'd expect it to ask for some syrup instead of a charge. This hardly feels magical, Apple. And while we're at it, since it's 2023, don't forget to replace the lightning port with a proper USB-C port so we can finally have one cable to rule them all. But that's not all. Allow me to pull back the curtain on the Magic Mouse Pro, a concept so exciting it may as well come with its own drum roll. The mouse is ergonomically designed and packed with features users have been asking Santa for. Upgraded laser tracking? Check. A dedicated middle scroll button for card users? Check. And a charging port that's not placed in a location that defies all logic. To wrap up, the Magic Mouse, while charming in its own way, could use a bit of TLC. The Apple Pro Mouse takes all this into account while introducing some bells and whistles that are as cool as they are practical. It's like a glimpse into an alternate universe where Apple actually listens to user feedback. Next, we are discussing an idea that could enhance the way we use our MacBooks. What if Apple designed a portable monitor to accompany their laptops? Think about it. We all know the productivity boost that comes with a dual monitor setup. Imagine having a lightweight, slim monitor that you can carry around with your MacBook Pro, ready to give you that extra screen real estate wherever you are. The market already has portable monitors from notable names like LG, HP, Lenovo, just to name a few. In fact, I own one from a brand called Uperfect, which I snagged off Amazon. But let's be honest, wouldn't it be great to have a portable monitor designed by Apple for Apple products? An Apple portable monitor would definitely bring a seamless integration that no other brand can provide. Imagine a monitor that not only matches the cheek aesthetics of your MacBook, but also connects as effortlessly as magnets on a fridge. This connection could be either wirelessly or through a Thunderbolt connection that will simultaneously power it up. The rationale behind offering a wireless connection as an option 
a surrender disk is a genuinely portable device, complete with an integrated battery for maximum mobility and convenience. Apple is renowned for having top tier display quality with incredible color accuracy. Just picture a portable monitor that carries for these qualities. We can expect features like True Tone technology, which uses an ambient light sensor to automatically adjust the color temperature of your display to your environment. It would also support P3 white color for vibrant, lifelike images and videos, and high refresh rates for smoother motion and sharper detail. Imagine the possibilities of a portable monitor, video editing on the go, running virtual meetings on one screen while working on the other, or simply enjoying a movie on a larger display while you answer emails on your MacBook. The use cases are endless and the convenience is undeniable. An Apple Portable Monitor that aligns perfectly with Apple's design philosophy and ecosystem. It could be equipped with an A13 Bionic chip like the studio display. Envision a larger display, around 17 or 18 inches. This size strikes a perfect balance between portability and ample screen real estate. So Apple, if you're listening, we think it's high time you give us a portable monitor. A cycle for our MacBooks designed with the same love and attention to detail you give to all your products. Finally, we are going to talk about a product that, in my opinion, is right for a redesign. Well, I really wouldn't call it a redesign, more of an upgrade to justify the price. The Magic Keyboard for the iPad. Price at $350, the Magic Keyboard is a blend of design and functionality. But begs the question, does it justify the high price tag? Let's dive into the deep end and see how Apple could sprinkle some more magic on this keyboard, making it truly deserving of its premium price. We'll start with the lifeline of any portable device, the battery. The iPad itself boasts a battery life that could give a marathon runner a run for their money. But wouldn't it be great if the Magic Keyboard lent a helping hand? Picture a Magic Keyboard with its own battery, extending your iPad's battery life to a staggering total of at least 20 hours. We are talking about all of the Ring's extended edition marathon capability here. Moreover, a keyboard battery would help with weight distribution. In its current form, the Magic Keyboard is heavier than a Thanksgiving dinner designed to support the floating iPad. But instead of whatever Apple crammed into the keyboard to give it that extra heft, old iPhones perhaps, an internal battery could achieve the same goal. After all, the only reason the keyboard weighs more than a sumo wrestler is to prevent the iPad from toppling over. Next, let's talk about connectivity. Currently, the Magic Keyboard features just one USB-C port for pass-through charging. Considering it's designed for a pro device, it wouldn't be out of place for Apple to add an additional USB-C port on the opposite side. Furthermore, given that the keyboard facilitates pass-through charging via the 3-pin connector behind the iPad, it should naturally support data transfer as well. Ideally, I'd prefer never having the need to plug a cable directly into the iPad, be it for charging, data transfer, or even to extend the mass display through Thunderbolt 4. Lastly, let's address the elephant in the room. Flexibility. The Magic Keyboard's single floating tilt level is as cool as a polar bear's toenails, but it's not always the most practical. Wouldn't it be great if users could adjust the tilt to any angle they wish without any hassle? Greater flexibility would undoubtedly enhance the user experience. So, Apple, if you're listening, you are eagerly awaiting the Magic Keyboard redesign. One that justifies the price tag and truly revolutionizes the iPad experience. And that about wraps it up, folks. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.